Welcome to the CFN inaugural fish off. So we have three teams in this year's CFN Fish Off. Let's see how this turns out. From Toronto, we have Mike Consul, and from Brampton, my good friend Red Andal. Oh yeah, my first silver perch. CFN Fish Off, right there. From Cornwall, we have Mark and Erica Beeler. Guess what we're doing? We're gonna go kick some butt, go fishing, and catch ourselves something massive. Thanks for the meet and greet. <laughs> Oh. From Toronto, we have Brandon Francie, and from Mississauga, we have Kevin Fernandez. Let's go catch some bass. As soon as I went to eat it, I just saw the flash. I gotta get this fish back in the water quick. So how it works is the largest fish in each species is equal to four points. The second largest in each species is equal to three, and so on and so on. The team that amasses the most points in the six weeks that they fish is crowned this year's CFN Fish Off winner. And the team that wins, on behalf of the Canadian Fishing Networks, gets to choose the charity of their choice to make a $500 donation. After week five, the Beelers have come back with a vengeance, regaining top spot with an outstanding 57 points. Now, Mike and Red aren't far behind with 54, but Brandon and Kevin are starting to fade in the mirror with a mere 30 points. So here it is, week six, and the end of the CFN Fish Off Challenge. Now let's find out who's crowned this year's champion. It is day one of week six, the final week. All right, here with my friend Gord again. Here we're gonna go for some yellow bullhead. There's some rainbow trout, because they're in right now. And uh, basically there's pretty much everything in this water down here. Gord is hooked up. Look at the net for your Gord. Mike. <laughs> I heard that's your specialty right there. This is my specialty. A pike under two foot long. Light's just about to go down, putting a big stinky worm on the bottom. All right, we're in the dark now. Gord rigged up a new rig. He said it'll take him three minutes to catch a fish. Say hello to the yellow bullhead. Yellow bullhead, all right, I gotta get one. We got another one. Here we go, yellow bullhead. That's what I need. Finally. What is this, Gord? <laughs> it's a yellow bullhead. A yellow bullhead? Oh man, this is four points. No one has a yellow bullhead. Oh, it might be short. Oh no. It might be short of eight inches. Oh my god, he's seven and three quarters. Almost there. Okay, I gotta get one. He's almost there. I got something that felt like dead log or like a bunch of weeds. What is this? Another yellow bullhead. That is over eight inches. <laughs> I totally thought it was weeds. Tell me how this is a yellow bullhead versus like what I got before, which is a black one night fishing another week. The main identification, if you lift this chin up for me, see those little bottom whiskers? Yep. How they're bright yellow. Okay. Black bullheads and brown bullheads have a black bottom whisker. And the difference between a black bullhead and a brown bullhead is the black bullhead has a yellow belly and the brown bullhead doesn't. And so what color belly is this guy? He's got oh. a big white belly. Big white belly. All right, let's measure him up. <laughs> All right, here it is. This bullhead is good. Just over 11 inches. Here you go. Look at that face. <laughs> Look at that belly too. I thought it was a piece of wood or weeds. The guy had zero fight, no taps whatsoever. Look at that, fat. All right, yellow bullhead done. We are going to the next spot. Next we're gonna go back to the Lillard River. And we're gonna get there. Uh, hopefully a channel catfish, sheephead, and some crappie. <laughs> I can eat all three. I and have a silver of, perch. I have none of those four. Let's go. Hey CFM fans, it's week six of the CFM fish off. This is the final week and it's coming down to the wire for the Beelers and Mike and Red. Brandon and I are getting our butts kicked right now. Congratulations to Mark and Mike for those two beautiful musky. Those are beautiful fish that uh, I've been trying to catch for a while and haven't really had a chance to. I'm out here today to get our bass point back. I'm here with my buddy Ian. This guy catches some monster, monster bass. Yesterday you pulled out what was 22 and three quarter inch, 6.7 pound bass. 
That's a monster just yesterday yeah. around this area. So we're out here, we're gonna try and look for one of those kind of bass and uh, see if we can at least score a couple of points for that and then we'll figure it out from there. Cheers. It's a small spot out here. It's gonna have to jump. It's not that big. It's not the biggest fish in the world. I'll take him. I always have a net ready, folks. I got it. Because if I whip him, I'm gonna lose him. So Ian told me there are 6.7 pound bass in here and the bass started to bite at what, 7 p.m.? It's uh, 5.41 now, so we've seen our first one, so we know they're small in here, that's good. Hopefully we can get something bigger than that. Cheers. See you, bud. She's got something. She's got something on here. that we have for our CFN fish off is if you bring kids with you their catch and their points go towards your total all right look what Gord caught me crawl baby let's go catch that sheephead I don't know if you could see it and it passed Gord the camera it sounded like a flat fish when I reeled it in and it is a silver perch please this is my first ever silver perch Please be eight inches. Gord, you got your tape measure? Yeah, I do. Okay, moment of truth, Gord. My first ever silver perch. Is he gonna be eight inches? Yes, he qualifies, baby. Look, right there. He's just eight inches. Beautiful. Pinched tail, he's like just over. His mouth is at zero. He's just over eight inches. Just let me take a picture with my first silver perch. Oh yeah, my first silver perch. Here he goes. Cordo! What did you get? Silver perch. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah. Bigger than mine. Good job, buddy. Thanks. Backwater fishing league. Look at that. I thought I was snagged, and then all I hear is flap, flap, flap. See, Ben fish off week six. Finally got my crappy. At least nine inches. All right, let's take a picture. My first crappie of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, CFN Fish Off, week six. My first crappie of the year. We've got one. Need a net? Nice. That's the biggest fish of the night. Yep. I need to catch one. All right, success. Got three species, crappy, which I didn't have, a yellow bullhead, which no one has, and a white perch, which I tied the lead for. So, success. Success. Yep. Once again, this is Gord. Where can they find you? On uh, Facebook, on the Backwater Fishing League. Backwater Fishing League, check it out. Good way to add some excitement to your fishing. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mike. I didn't think that was 
was a fish. I was just looking at it, and then I looked down like a second look, and I'm like, that's a big muskie. You see him? That's the second muskie I've seen today. He, he came right out of those weeds. And then now he just swam kind of this way. If you follow me like this, and then he turns off. Oh my gosh. That might have been a 40-inch fish. That was a big fish. little guy. Oh. Yeah. So I just got my bowfin. Don't think he's any bigger than Mark's lost bowfin. Woo. Definitely not bigger than 29 inches, but a fun catch. Thanks for the meet and greet. Yeah. I'll let him go. He's a relief. Woo. All right, it's 4.26 a.m. Last week, week six CFN fish off. Got two more days and the fish off is done. We got a bite, folks. Please be a channel cat. Please be a channel cat. Finally got something. It is a, ah, all this time been waiting. I got no bites in like an hour. And I get a sunfish, it's not even eight inches. Damn. Got one, white perch. Got another white perch. I'm gonna put him back, see if we can catch another one. Feeling some taps. Now when you're fishing with live bait, you don't have to set the hook right away. It's not gonna spit it out, it tastes good. Feels real. He's gonna go tap, tap, tap. But then when you see that rod bend, you know he has it. Set the hook. But if it's just tapping, you don't want to pull it away. It might not be in its mouth yet. It might just be sampling it. Come on, take it. Okay. Got it's pretty big. Oh yes. Oh no, it's a sheep head. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay, we gotta measure this. I'm gonna take it over to the grass. I'm gonna take a quick basic measurement, and it's about maybe 17 inches. I wanna put him back in the water. All right, sheephead. Yeah, my first ever sheephead. Okay, buddy, there you go. Now, one of the goals of the CFN Fish Off was to show how accessible fishing can be even if you don't have a motorized boat. Things like inflatables, kayaks, canoes were all permitted during this event. But one of the main rules of the CFN Fish Off is that there are no gas powered boats allowed during our competition. It's quarter past 4 a.m. Last day CFN Fish Off. At the end of week five we are down by three points. So we're neck and neck with those beelers. My prediction is Red Andal is going to catch the winning fish. I'm going to go pick him up now. And I know those beelers are up. They've been posting on Facebook. So they're getting ready. Well, we're getting ready too. Good morning, sir. Good morning. This is our guide. If anyone's going to help us win, it's going to be Ken. Hopefully. We'll so. see what happens today. Hey, Here he is, folks, Mr. Red Handle. The pressure is on. <laughs> oh, he's putting on me on the spot, Michael. You think we can beat those beelers? I don't know. What do you think? Should we still go up? We raised the white flag, beelers. We're oh. just going to stay at McDonald's all day. Yeah. Raising the white flag. Surrender, you said? Surrender. You win, beelers. Yeah, we're not going out. We're staying Not here. going out today. Just gonna stay here. Yeah. Coffee's good. Oh, there's a little bit of a commotion out here. I don't know. I don't accept your white flag. We're being diligent and doing our thing. Last day of fish off. Good luck, guys. Michael's fished out. He's even snoring. What do you think, Mike? We fish! You have faith in me? 
You're gonna catch the winner, Red. Red, one of the best things I love about fishing is just going to new spots. This is in the jungles. <laughs> we're bushwhacking it now. Yep. <laughs> we're catching river monsters. This is where we're going. Ken, I forgot to tell you that uh, this guy has a broken ankle. <laughs> That's how you walk down. Uh, fishing tips to you guys. This is how you walk down a hill with a broken ankle. <laughs> On your side like that. Oh. Uh, I have to walk under this tree and to get to the water. Ooh. And there you are. Oh. Guys, I caught up. You guys are already rigging. I just got here. Oh my God. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a sign of fishing. You know a spot is fishy when you see this. Don't worry about water depth. Don't worry about clarity. Don't worry about transition or weeds or cover. Or that pads. guy worried about it already. This is what you look for when you're looking for a spot. <laughs> That's a nice spot, eh? This. Yeah, beautiful. See that fog? But to get here, to get down here, dude. You gotta break some ankles to get here. Again. <laughs> oh my god, Michael. Dude, you just tossed that out there. First cast, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Fish whisperer. <laughs> Your first cast, and you said you had no line, right? I know, I have like, I'm seeing spool, I was worried. Oops. Right. What do you think it is? Uh, it's running pretty oh. hard, could be a silver. Okay, just try to keep him on this way, I got my line right there. Wow, dude. Oh my it's gosh. Big. Whatever it is. Catfish? Carp? Oh, the tail thingy. The red tail. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, now oh, it's running. It's running good. Ooh, what is it? A red horse? Yeah. That's what we wanted, right? My first cast, baby. <laughs> oh my god. Dang. Oh, it's a carp. Carp? Yeah. Oh, I don't want a carp. Well, we'll take it. It's bigger than the viewer's carp, I'll take it. It took the worm. Ooh, hey, hey, hey. Well, there's an upgrade on yours. Hey? There's an upgrade on your carp, I think. Yeah, definitely an upgrade on my carp. Yeah. Let's measure this baby up. Side and down. that looks like a... Yeah, about 25. 25, the short end of the tail. Yeah. CFN fish off last week. The release. Ooh. Oh, he hit a rock. <laughs> oh, dude. Rock. Now he has a concussion. Oh my god, he's now dizzy. <laughs> go around the rock, buddy. He's like dizzy. Sorry, man. I can't get you. Oh my god, you should put ice on his head now. <laughs> he's right in front of me. He's right in, right in front of me. No interest at all. Spotted musky. He's just sitting here. Oh, he swam off. No, he's not interested. Choked it. Get him back in the water quick. Yep. We gotta get this fish back in the water quick. I hope he doesn't die on us. Beautiful muskie. Let's give him a chance to revive. Go float off. Oh yeah, right off. Wow, he swam right off. First, oh. first muskie on a figure eight. Dude. Oh, that was All right. <laughs> so we didn't <laughs> catch up on points. But Brandon got his first muskie, and you know what? That's, I think that's, what do you think, Brandon? That was awesome. That was awesome. 10 hours in. 
Let's get another one, man. As soon as I went to eat it, I just saw the flash. And he just, oh man, that was awesome. That is your first muskie ever, correct? Yep. <laughs> All right. Nice. Well, we got Brandon's first muskie, so that was uh, something special for this, for this fish shop. That's pretty cool. Ourselves a chunk. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what I got, but dove into the weeds. Come on. I don't even know if I have it anymore. Oh boy. Pike? Fast? <laughs> and the release of this beautiful bass. This is the winning fish. Uh, Come on, do we need a net? Oh, 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 nah, it doesn't look too big. I think this is a smallmouth. Oh, 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 where are you going, dude? Where you going? This is the winning fish, Red. Oh, it's a white bass. What is it? Yeah? It's a small car. Wait. Red oh. horse. Oh. Get it, get it. <laughs> That's all we need. <laughs> oh, yes. That's all we need. That's all we need. Oh, my God. This is what we're going for. A short head red horse. <laughs> I told you, buddy. That is a four point fish. Yeah, the, nobody has this. No one has that. Okay. Wow. All right, is that red. A good size? 14 inches? Yep, about 14. But no one has it, so it doesn't matter how big it is. Four points, buddy. Four points. Red and Oh, yeah. The prophecy came true, Michael. <laughs> CFN fish off right there. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Now he's fighting. Now he's fighting. Drag is good. Drag is set oh, good. See your red horse. Beautiful. See your red. Nice. <laughs> he bumped his head again. How come fish can't swim when they're upside down? They get like, can you walk upside down, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. cool. Red decided to switch it up. With a spinner bait. Oh my gosh, you are the champion today. You don't have it? I don't think so. I gotta ask Ken. I got a white perch, but no, this is a white bass. that's a white bass. I've never. Tried that. Oh, I've never caught that before. Red was getting bored. He's like, let me try a spinner bait. Literally in my head, Red, I'm like, this guy's wasting his time with this spinner bait. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Wicked! White bass, awesome. I have never caught that before. I'm gonna try. I'm putting a spinner bait on. <laughs> and got a fish. Oh, this time Red's gonna be your net man. He's the biggest red horse so far. Okay, tell us why. This is a short head red horse versus a greater red horse. So here in the fin, you can see how it's more S shape. Yep. In a greater red horse, it's actually going to be curved out like this. And that's the main difference. And you can see how small the mouth is. Oh, I it's see those tiny. lines that you're talking about. And you can see the lines right there. Yeah. Yeah. And the tail, more forked. Yeah, that's beautiful, oh, huh? Look at that. See the silver sheen, golden sheen on it? 
Yeah. Bright orange fins. Take a picture. Uh, it's right. pretty. Yeah. Nice. Respect these fish. And he goes off no problem. There you go. Look at him. Beautiful. Oh boy. Now that's a lunker. <laughs> wow. Uh. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that's the same one. I think it's safe to say, oh, yeah, that's an upgrade. This is what you call a jumbo. Pretty sure we just upgraded. We're hoping anyway. Oh, uh, I got a pretty good eye for these things. And I have a feeling that this one, We're gonna this one's going to work. This one's going to work. Got something. All of a sudden. <laughs> whoa, 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 Channel cat. Is it channel cat? Oh, you're on that crap. Hold on. Go this way. Go this way. You're on that board. Oh! No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Oh my gosh, Red, you gotta land this guy, man. Is he. Are you stuck on that wood? No, 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 you know, you're gonna snap it. No, 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 no. I'll sacrifice. Kenny's going in. No. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Yeah. Oh my god. What is. I to give a pants Thank you, Ken. <laughs> Man, CFN fish off. Week six. 17 and three quarters. Right. Red, let's get a picture. Well, no one has a channel cat yet. CFN fish off. Week six. We are getting points today, baby. We are getting points today. I predicted it. Red Andal. He's gonna win it for us. <laughs> Mr. Clutch. Chilling like a villain. Oh, look at this guy. What message do you have for the Beelers? <laughs> Sorry guys, but bye bye Beelers. <laughs> <laughs> this is the pose you do when you catch the winning fish. <laughs> <laughs> and look, this is the, the rod holder that has been winning it all. Right there. <laughs> hey, do you think do you think the Beelers are scared? Like they know they're up by three points. But do you think they're scared? They need four new species at least just to keep up. There's my shoe drying out. Here is the German engineering rod holder. You can buy it online for $9.99. This is my victory lap. He was sleeping for six weeks, but he woke up today, ladies and gentlemen. Come in clutch. We'll see how it all adds up. <laughs> well, I'm not fishless. <laughs> oh yeah, he's chunky, he's a good size. I don't think he makes the cut, but we're gonna check it out. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that might be my last catch for the tournament. I gotta double check to see what it is. It's a foot long. I'm not gonna say what it is just yet, I gotta look into it. One foot, uh, that certainly qualifies. All right, so week six, the CFN. Okay, we're back. We are back. Final week of the challenge. Officially over. I have to say, you look pretty relaxed, Mike. Pretty relaxed. The Beelers have no idea what I caught on Monday. We're back to win it. <laughs> How do you think we did? All factors considered? I'm proud of myself. I think we're good, Red. Yeah, we can just relax. Let's just find the Tim Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do good this week. Ugh. <laughs> this week really I know. sucked. <laughs> I will say I've never done anything remotely close to this. Yeah. Beelers! That's three species today. Three species all caught by this guy. 
Yes. We apologize. I apologize. We spent hours. We spent hours. I know, right? We wasted so much time. With that being said, when all this started, I thought it was going to be a cakewalk and we were just going to clean up. So I've definitely been humble. Yeah. Told them this morning that we raised the white flag. Yeah. And I was checking Facebook. They don't believe us. They're like, yeah. nope. Erica even took off work early. Yeah. Because they're like, we don't accept your white flag. Yeah. They smell something fishy. Yeah. <laughs> I would smell something fishy. He's fishy today. Yeah. His hands smell like fish. Yeah. This car smells like fish. <laughs> I wish we could have fished more. I wish we could have spent more time fishing. I didn't expect us to get beat on the bass points, but... Or the pike. Or the pike, but those are our comfort species. But it's like, you know, it's fishing sometimes. We did well last Catch, week. Catch, release, re repeat. That's what we should have been doing the first few days of this week. I don't know why we suffered this week, because we spent a lot more time fishing this week. On Monday, I got another 10 points in a welling. Crappy, yellow bullhead, white perch. There you go. I tried for gar pike. No gar pike. Then we spent a whole entire day. She's trying for sturgeon because she's allowed. I'm allowed. I have a native size card. I can do that. So. I was trying for channel cat. And I would have caught release it anyway, so. This is a lot of fun. Thanks a lot, guys, for, you know, yeah. following this whole thing, following our journey through this. Following our journey to get our first muskies, which Brandon ended up getting. Your Good first job on that. Fin. Yeah, that was awesome. First rainbow. What do you think their strategy would be today? Today, I don't know. Praying, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> this is strategy. <laughs> we tried for our soccer. Oh, soccer. Tried for red like horse soccer. Guard. In a place we know they're there. So the fish just weren't like there. They were. Red was clutch on, the, on that last day, man. Yeah. With a sprained ankle, sticking it out, fishing all day. Yeah, he came in and uh, pulled through. Mike was a one-man wrecking crew for the whole thing. and The last Mike, day, yeah. the last day, did what they had to do. Kind of like bittersweet for you, I think. What yeah, you now think? can actually start fishing for fun. Dude, I think it did really well, dude. My biggest worry all week was Mike and Red. Mike's like, yeah, I'm not fishing. I'm not catching anything. I'm not fishing. So I'm like, I think he's pulling our leg. I don't believe that either. Yeah, this is fun. So I'm going to look at some standings here. Wow. What? Fishing gods weren't with us. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Is this a joke? Like, is this a fake thing? Super uber wow. I don't even know what to think. Huh. What are they doing? How did this all happen in one week? Beelers have to catch like five species in order to catch us. Yeah. That would be tough. That would be tough. Yeah. Even for them. Yeah. There you have it. It's over. It's over, Beelers. <laughs> yes, congratulations for sure. You guys have well deserved it. We're just gonna go and cry. And five hundred dollars is gonna go to the charity of our choice. Yeah, that's awesome. charity of choice. That's really cool. That's awesome. See ya. Here is the winning handshake. <laughs> See ya, fan fish off week six. Yeah, yeah. It was an exciting, super exciting experience because we're able to target fish we never even tried targeting before. It was a whole new way of doing things. Yeah, definitely. We learned a lot of new techniques doing this too and definitely pushed us out of our comfort zone. Like if it sure. weren't for this challenge, I don't think we would have chased our first muskie like that hard. Nope. nope. Yeah. Definitely not. You know? So that was cool. Never been in a fishing competition before, so... Congratulations, guys. <laughs> yes, congrats. That was a long six weeks. Huh? Well played. There's Very well played. To the end. Red was quiet for yeah. six weeks and six days, and then... Yeah. Just give us one more day. I bet you in the next two weeks, all our fish are coming in. Oh, they will. Well, but yeah, if, they, if we they did this them. contest for yeah. one more day, we'd smoke them. <laughs> Final message. I want to say, appreciate it, CFN, for, uh, for giving me and Kevin the opportunity. It means a lot to me. I had a great time doing this. 
met some cool people. Sealed the deal. <laughs> there you go. It's week six and the end of the CFN Fish Off Challenge. In third place with 32 points, we have Brandon and Kevin. And in second place, with a total of 66 points and a hard-fought six-week battle with a never-say-die attitude, Mark and Erica Beeler. And the winner of our inaugural CFN Fish-Off Challenge, with a whopping 77 points. Congratulations to Michael Consul and Red Andal. So here we are at the CFN Fish Off, the finale to what has been six grueling weeks of fishing that Brandon, Kevin, Mike Consul, my good friend Red, Erica, and Mark have had to deal with and what they've had to deal with in order to get to this point. But I want to pronounce Michael Consul and my good friend Red Andal as the winners of this 2017 official inaugural CFN Fish Off. And as winners, you get to choose the charity of your choice, and you have chosen the Angel Foundation for Learning, and $500 will be donated on behalf of the Canadian Fishing Network to this unbelievable cause. If you want to be a part of our next CFN Fish Off Challenge, follow CFN Fish Off on Facebook and join in on our online Fish Off Challenge. And the winner of that online tournament will win a spot on next year's CFN Fish Off. The Canadian Fishing Network would like to acknowledge all our great sponsors. Prizes for the CFN Fish Off have been provided by Fishing Magnets, Handlebar Lures, Larry's Lucky Leaders, Chrome Fish Flies, Bait Cloud, SIB Sport. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Canadian Fishing Network YouTube channel and by all means, follow us on Facebook. So I'm Scotty Martin. Remember, be smart anglers, catch your limit, limit your catch, and practice catch and release every chance you get. And thanks for watching the Canadian Fishing Network's inaugural fish off.